Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Titan here and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be creating Captain America's shield. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so um, let's start by going through some reference images uh, I saw on Google. So um, this is one of them. And uh, so basically we're going to start out by creating the circle, uh, the, the star, sorry, the star in the middle. Um, so uh, to do that, we'll be uh, using the circle, uh, circle mesh, and um, uh, we'll be using uh, al uh, we'll then we'll alternate uh, select alternate vertices and scale them in to create the star, and then we'll uh, add another circle while we're uh, while we're in edit mode, and um, uh, then add the uh, solidify modifier, uh, so it has some thickness. And then extrude out for these last three uh, circles. All right, so um, let's get into it. Uh, anyway, uh, you can see I already attempted this tutorial, so I'll just be going and creating a new, um, new, uh, new file, Blender file, and then deleting everything in the uh, default. This is the default scene, and I'll be deleting everything in the scene. <coughs> uh, okay. So uh, to create the star, we'll be starting by uh, we'll start by creating a circle, um, and on and then you can see uh, you see a box on the bottom left. Uh, these are some uh, so it's called add circle, and if you click on it, you can see some default settings. So these are some of the basic properties that we can change, and will uh, it'll af uh, defi affect uh, the shape of the circle. So um, we need to change the vertices down to ten. Uh, this is because a star has uh, 10 edges and 10 vertices. And when we select alternate vertices and scale them in, it, we should have 5 vertices out, uh, out wide. If we don't, let's say we had 12, uh, I'll show you what, uh, what would happen. So I'm in vertex, uh, vertex select mode, which is 1. And 2 is edge, uh, edge select mode and 3 is face select. Since we don't have any faces, uh, it'll be completely empty. So uh, let's go back to uh, vertex select. Oh, let me just. Oh, sorry. Let me just turn on my screencast keys. So, and screencast keys are basically uh, so you can see any of my uh, sh any of the shortcuts I use during the uh, tutorial. Let me just turn that on. All right. So uh, now I can. If I uh, now we have to select alternate vertices. So I'll start by clicking on this vertice, left clicking. And then skipping this vertice and going around uh, selecting, skipping, selecting, skipping. All right, so I finished that. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to scale this in. Oh, sorry. Uh, as you can see, this is not the shape we want because we started out with a, uh, I show, uh, this is a 12 uh, sided uh, po uh, mesh. And as you can see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve vertices, uh, twelve edges, and one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, as you can see, this is why we need a circle which has ten vertices. All right, and you might want to, we might, we're gonna change the. Uh, Radius to 1.5, so it's a bit bigger. All right, so now let's go back into edit mode, which is a uh, tab, and uh, select these vertices, and scale them in. And you can see that the sh uh, shape of the star is forming. All right, so I think this is good for me. And what we're going to do now is, um, if you looked into the uh, this reference image, you can see that there there's these lines going into the center of the star. Uh, that's what we're going to create right now. So what we're going to do is select the inner five, uh, five of the inner vertices and press E to extrude these and right click. And then we're going to press Alt-M, which will merge, the, merge these vertices into this, and we're going to select at center. So now you can see that shape is formed. So now we're just going to create these, uh, we're just going to uh, add the, uh, we're just going to create these faces. So.
Alright, so I've created the star. And so when we'll, we can go ahead and go into, uh, we can create that next circle. So while we're in edit mode, we can press shift A to create a new circle. Now this circle will be at 10 vertices. We want to uh, multiply it by four. So, and scale it up to two. Uh, as you can see, even if we kept it at 10, you can see these, uh, uh, the, ver uh, the vertices are uh, vertices aligned with each other. So we want this. Uh, uh, so even if let's say I deleted, uh, deleted this circle and added one which has 20, you can still see that it always aligns. Uh, the, uh, the outer ed uh, vertices of the uh, star always align with a uh, vertice in the, on the circle. So, I'm just going to change it up to 40 because uh, the shield is not, as you can, as you can see, the shield is, um, has more, uh, uh, more subdivisions than uh, a 10 vertice uh, count uh, circle. So, now let's, as, uh, as I've told you, these outer added uh, vertices uh, align with one of the, uh, one of the uh, vertices on the circle. So what we're gonna do is select these two vertices and press Alt M at last. That's because uh, at last means we selected the. Uh, we're just gonna move this vertice all the way to the uh, edge of uh, to the circle. Uh, as you can see, the star always uh, touches the circle, and that's what we're trying to do here. So let's go around each one. Press at last. I finished, but now you can see uh, that the uh, sir, uh, the star is looking very thin. Uh, that's because the shape, uh, the uh, proportion of the star center isn't proportional to the length of each of these uh, faces. So what we're gonna do is uh, select these inner faces, inner vertices, sorry, and scale them up. I think this is good for me. So you can see now the star has formed, um, but now we're gonna have to we're gonna create these uh, faces here. Um, so press con uh, control uh, to the one uh, the other side of the uh, vertice and F. So I created the shape, um, but now you can see that the star is gone when we uh, tab out of edit mode. Uh, that's okay. Well, uh, well, the star would uh, pop out uh, once we uh, later in the uh, tutorial. So now uh, let's go out of edit mode and go to the uh, these two uh, these bars and go to this. Um, I guess it's a tools bar, and this is called the modifier tab, and. Uh, we can, this will add any modifier to our uh, this mesh. So what modifier we're adding is the solidify modifier. So you can see now that it added some thickness to it. So we can we want to change it to uh, 0 0.04 and change the offset to 1. That's because if you let's go to edit, uh, edit mode, now you can see the star is gone. That's because the star is on the bottom and we added thickness to the top. That's not what we want. We want to add thickness to the bottom. All right, so now you can see it added thickness to the bottom. Um, so now if we get out of uh, edit mode and press apply, we should have, uh, we should be able to edit that thickness as well. Um, as you can see, we have uh, this star on the bottom, which we do not need because Captain America holds the uh, shield on the bottom and it has no star there. So we're just going to select these inner five inner vertices and uh, press Alt M, no, not sorry, not Alt M, X and dissolve vertices. It should dissolve that star from the uh, bottom. All right, so now you can see the beginning of the Captain America shield, um, but we still have to add the three, we have to extrude out. So what we're gonna do is go into face select mode, which is three, and Alt left click the uh, 
the thickness, I, I, uh, thickness, and press E and left click. And then if you press S and Shift Z, you can see that we can uh, we're extruding uh, out and creating that first uh, outer circle. Um, so go into seven numpad seven top mode so that you can see how wide how big your circle is so i think this is about uh this is good enough for me and then you can continue uh, uh making the next circle just keep in mind that you want the uh the three outer circles to be about the same So I think this is good for me. So you can see the uh, Captain America shield, but if you go into numpad one, which is front view, you can see that there is something missing in the shield. Um, that's because uh, we need to add some curve to the shield. Um, without the curve, you can, uh, if you, let's say this one, you can see the clear curve in there. So uh, we need to create that curve. So, mm, let's do that. All right, so I'm just going to go back. And let's, to create this curve, we need to select these uh, faces in the middle. Go to numpad one. Oh, sorry. Select these faces in the middle. Uh, you have to left click outside first and then select these faces. That's because we already had these faces selected, and if we go press C to select these faces, uh, it won't get rid of these faces, uh, get rid of this selection here. So one, and now if we turn on proportional editing and press G and Z, you can see that the circle is moving up. So why are we using the proportional editing tool? Uh, so the pro uh, if we didn't have the proportional editing tool on, we would just be uh, moving this um, moving this face up. That's not what we want. Uh, so the proportional editing tool can help us. Um, the proportional editing tool can uh, what it does is it selects uh, it uh, directly. Uh, it takes uh, it moves all the faces which are directly affected by that middle uh, those that middle circle face. So. We press and the bigger the circle is, uh, go back to O G Z. The bigger this circle is, the circle here is, the more uh, uh, the more f uh, faces it will affect. So we want it to be almost everything. As you can see now, uh, everything is moving. So this is really, this is uh, how big we want the circle to be. So we don't want it too much, but I think that should be about that should be good. All right, so now we created this Captain America shield, but you can see nothing is popping out. And uh, you can clearly see everything is popping out in any of the other, all of the other, uh, all of the other shields in the reference images. So to create this uh, pop out, we are going to be using the bevel tool. So what this bevel, uh, what the bevel tool does is it basically just duplicates the edge which you have selected. So don't follow, uh, don't follow me. So I'm going to go into edge select and I'm going to select one of the faces and I'm going to press control B. Control B, as you can see now, it duplicates that face. And if you scroll up, you can create more and more faces in between these. All right. So that's what we're going to be using to create that spacing in between each of these circles. All right, so let's select these. Go into ed edge select mode. Select the first circle's edge edges. And select the second and third. Uh, so you have the circle selected, and then let's go ahead and select uh, the entire uh, middle face. So this will only work as uh, as it in edge select. So uh, now let's press Control B, and you can see it's too quick. Um, so what we're gonna do is press Shift, so we have a better. You know, we have more control over how uh, how much we want. So 
that is good enough and then if we oh sorry and don't press left click yet and then you want uh so when you find what's good enough for you scroll up once all right and that should create one face in between each of these um each of the edges you've selected all right so now you can see uh, everything popping out in the uh Ed, uh, ta uh, edit mode but when it's here you see nothing so we actually have to um, move some of these faces uh, and edges so that it would add the spacing and make sure the star pops up so what we're gonna do is go into face uh, face select mode and select these five uh, faces on top um, and then if you want it uh, and then we want to press G oh get out of uh, proportional editing mode first g and z and if you move it up you uh, just a bit you want to press shift as well slowly move it up until you feel like that one pop uh it's, so this is good enough for me see as you can see this has popped up all right so now we got uh, we got the star let's go ahead and do the outside uh, uh, these circles so what we're gonna have to do so to do these these two ed uh outer edges oh, we can start out with those first so we can go to edge select and select these two uh, alt left click here and alt shift left click here and uh, then you can just press g z and shift and then slowly move it down uh you don't want too much of a v-shape but uh, i think this is good enough for me actually yeah so now, uh, the reason I selected these two but not this one is because if you can see at the edge of these, uh, the star where it connects with the circle, you can see there's no line in between. So we're going to have to create that line. So what we're going to do is use K, uh, K tool. This is called the knife, uh, knife tool and it will connect. You can create uh, edges um, quickly using this. The difference between this knife tool and the ed, uh, uh, loop cut tool is the loop cut tool is not it's not a free select tool K, if we use k tool you can select however whatever shape you want and you can go all over the place so we're gonna go around and do this for each one so k enter k so I think that's the last one so now if we alt left click you should see uh, now we can go around each uh, all of these edges and go around and select each one uh, and if now if we press G and Z and shift and move it down uh, you want to make sure it's about the same as these two uh, outer edges here. Um, but it might not be since we did that uh, separate. Alright, so I think this is, yeah, this is good for me. Uh, now, as you can see, we finished Captain America's shield. Um, and uh, so thank you for watching. Um, this is a, a, a two-part series. So the next part will be uh, mat uh, adding the materials to the shield. Um, and so, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.